All right, so today we are going to talk about IMAX versus Dolby Cinema. Let's first talk about what the differences are between IMAX and Dolby Vision. I think everybody knows what IMAX is all about. It's about having that big, huge, gigantic screen that takes up your whole entire field of view. With Dolby Vision, you're going to get better colors, more accurate colors, a brighter image, more vibrant colors, better black levels, better contrast, better specular highlights, which means if there's like a little uh, reflection or a sunlight beaming down, specular highlight would be that brightest part of the image that's white or maybe just a really bright color that really kind of sparkles. So for the theater that I went to, which is in Danbury, Connecticut, they have an IMAX and a Dolby Cinema in the same theater, in the same multiplex. So the first thing that I went to go see was the IMAX version. And then right when I was done with that one, I walked across the hall and they have the Dolby Cinema there. Now I'm used to like a real IMAX screen, which we have over here at the auditorium in Norwalk, Connecticut. I think it's something like six stories high. So it's like a gigantic screen. It literally goes floor to ceiling, side to side, wall to wall. And the seating is arranged in such a way let's say this is the screen, the seating kind of goes up like at like a 70 degree angle almost. Whereas this theater, the screen would be here and it kind of gradually goes up. So the incline or decline isn't quite as steep as what is in my actual Norwalk IMAX. And that, that IMAX screen size is so big. I'm going to say that the one in the AMC theater is maybe like, I want to say like a quarter of the screen size as the one in Norwalk. If I'm comparing that to the Dolby Cinema screen size, I believe they are the same size screen, at least width to width. But the biggest difference is the height on the IMAX screen is going to be definitely taller. Now let's talk about the seats between the two theaters. IMAX has those standard upright seats that kind of lean back a little bit. They don't recline. There's nothing to put your feet up on. It's just the normal cheap little chairs that slightly lean back. They're fairly small, not very spacious, and they can be kind of uncomfortable after about an hour. The Dolby Cinemas has these black leather recliners. They've got this little um, thing on the left hand side or, or the right hand side. It's a touch sensitive keys where if you hit the button to recline, your feet goes up maybe about 35% so you can't recline all the way back and you can't have your feet all the way up in the air so it's just a just a slight recline of the feet and then the actual back of the seat kind of reclines backwards so you have a you know it's pretty comfortable overall the the seats for Adobe Cinema miles better than IMAX if you're in for a two-hour movie three-hour movie three and a half hour movie hands down Dolby Cinema wins all day, every day. As far as distance from the screen, I try to keep them both, which was, listen, I know you're not supposed to do it, but I picked the handicap seats because, <laughs> because there was uh, basically nobody in the theater. So I picked the handicap seats, which was in the center of the theater. Um, kind of uh, not quite the center, but a little bit forward of the, of the center of the theater, which is exactly the same in both auditoriums. The one thing that I noticed with the IMAX was if I sat a little bit off to the side, which I did with Dolby Cinema as well, if I sat a little bit off center, this particular screen in this AMC theater in Danbury would hotspot. If you don't know what hotspot is, that just means basically where the beam of light, the laser projector, where it shoots down. If you're closer to one side of the screen, the light is more intensified in front of you. In front of your face as opposed to the opposite side where it's a bit more dimmer so i'm going to say if you're going to go and pick a seat in this particular imax or a laser imax not to sit so close so for the best brightness overall equal brightness across the entire screen i would say sit further back or sit in the center so when you're moving your head back and forth you know you're not you're not so distracted by just this side being bright and that side being dim or vice versa all right with brightness uniformity aside Picture quality for both, let's start off with IMAX. I found it to be an extremely bright picture, maybe the brightest I've ever seen in an IMAX yet. Granted, I haven't been to an IMAX cinema in maybe like two years, so this new, they must have gotten some new laser projectors in there because this was definitely a laser IMAX because at the distance that I was sitting at, I could make out the pixels. 
I'm going to say I was borderline almost annoyed that I could see the pixels. If I was one row forward, then I would probably, I, well, it would definitely be unacceptable. So if you're one of those people that like to sit in the first like two, three, four rows in a, in a theater, then you're going to see pixels. You're going to see that screen door effect. I'm also going to say the same thing for the Dolby Cinema. At the same distance that I was sitting in the IMAX Cinema, if I was one row forward, then I would be able to see the pixels in the Dolby Cinema as well. If you don't know what a pixel is, it's the little squares that makes up the image, and you'll see both if you're sitting close enough. As far as color, contrast, clarity, of course, Dolby Vision is going to win out. The black levels were better, the highlights were better, colors were a little bit more vivid. The IMAX was still pretty close though. If I had to give it a percentage, I would say that Dolby Cinema was about 10% better in all areas as far as black levels and color and uh, peak highlights. The biggest difference, of course, between the two is going to be when those IMAX scenes do blow up and you get the extended aspect ratio, which in Thor Love and Thunder, I stayed for maybe about three quarters of the movie. So what I saw was during the beginning part, where that first battle is with the guardians i think there's another part when they're when they're in the uh i forgot what the city was called but the gold city with zeus there's that and then there's that first fight with gore those are the three scenes that i saw that opened up i'm pretty sure at the end of the movie it blows up again but i only stayed for about three quarters of the movie so it's definitely more immersive on the imax when those different aspect ratios kick in. I'm gonna say I didn't miss too much with the Dolby Cinema presentation because I, I did feel that the color and the brightness, overall brightness was better. But um, if you are sitting closer to where I was or if you are sitting maybe in the first, maybe three, four, five rows in the IMAX, that uh, your whole field of view, top to bottom, left to right, is gonna be just engulfed in screen. That being said, at the distance that I was sitting at, which gave me a pretty nice field of view. It's not like the, the old school six story high IMAX screens. So where I was at, it's pretty satisfactory. It's definitely more immersive than Dolby Cinema. Although the further that you go back, that immersive feeling of you kind of moving your head left to right or up and down, it just starts feeling like a, a large cinema or a big screen format uh, presentation that you would get at like a, um, like a Regal or something like that. So I'm gonna say if you're gonna to go to one of these smaller IMAX venues, like say at the AMC, that I would probably not sit in the center of the theater, but maybe a few rows above that to get that more immersive feel. With the Dolby Cinema, where I was at, I still got the nice immersive feel horizontally. It's just that when the, when the aspect ratio opens up that you didn't get that feeling where you had to look up and down. Was it a, a drastic difference between the two? I, I don't think so. It was cool that it opened up, but those were kind of small portions of the movie. I would say if the entire movie was filling the entire top and bottom of the screen, then it probably would have made a bigger difference as far as being more engaging. But just for those few scenes, if I had to pick one to go to, I would probably stick with the Dolby Vision. Now where things do kind of take a, a, a big jump in quality is gonna be in the audio department. Dolby Cinema has Dolby Atmos. If you don't know what Dolby Atmos is, it's basically surround speakers on the sides of your head also behind you and also there's a row of speakers that come above you so you get sound effects from above your head and also all the way around you in the imax theater there's just speakers on the sides and also in the back of the theater so you, there's no speakers above your head at least not in this theater that i that i was at now whereas imax is a bit more immersive as far as visually i'm going to say that the audio for the dolby atmos presentation is it kind of just blows away the imax presentation the I don't know what kind of speakers they're using in the Dolby Cinema room, but it sounded more like I was in my room. So in my home theater, like this room right here. So there was definitely more nuance in the mix. I was hearing special effects, uh, sound effects. I'm going to say right at the start of the movie where Gore is about to kill the, I think the sun god, uh, where he gets the sword in his hand. There's these uh, voices that circle around the room, which you can hear in the Dolby Cinema. Whereas in the IMAX, I didn't get that feeling whatsoever. It, it sounded loud, but it wasn't very directional. The Dolby Cinema, I could, I could clearly hear it moving around the room and also kind of going above my head as well. There's also other parts in the mix in the Dolby Cinema where I think just, just light ambiance. You could hear just little people talking, I think, where they were in the school or I don't know if it was the school right, at, right after the kids got kidnapped. There's a bunch of people just like chitter chattering, you know, talking in the background. I got that nice... It wasn't a big sensation because they were in a, in a small room, so it felt 
confined but yet spacious, whereas I didn't get that in the IMAX version. It just felt like, felt like loud sound. So there's definitely more nuance in the Dolby Atmos mix. And of course, uh, with having height speakers, there are a few scenes, there's not a ton. If, you know, if you, if you have a home theater, <laughs> you know that these uh, Disney mixes aren't the best when you get them in your house and you have a, and if you have a home theater set up, they're not always the best. Uh, but for this, for, for the theatrical presentation, there was a few parts where there were some pretty um, noticeable Atmos height effects, which I did notice was missing in the IMAX version. The IMAX version overall just seemed louder, whereas the Dolby Cinema presentation, more nuanced, more intimate, more detailed, better overall. Now where things kind of lean the way in IMAX's favor is gonna be for bass. If I had to put a percentage on bass response differences between the two, I'm gonna say, I am gonna say maybe about 15% better low end in IMAX than it was for the Dolby Cinema. But during the larger action scenes, towards the start of the movie, towards the gore fight, towards the end, everything was just like bombastic. You could feel the bass just resonate in your body. Whereas in the Dolby Cinema, it was still there, but it just didn't have that, that low end resonance that I got from the IMAX Cinema. As a overall experience, I'm gonna have to say that Dolby Cinema at this AMC in Denver, Connecticut, is gonna be the best way to spend your money. And since we're talking about money, both tickets at this particular theater Exactly the same, they're both $18, no matter if you pick IMAX or if you pick uh, Adobe Cinema. So $18 across the board. I put a poll up on the community tab and it was, it was almost 50-50 with Dolby Cinema's barely edging out IMAX. So leave your comment down below and let us know what do you prefer, IMAX or Dolby Cinema? And why? Leave a comment and let us know. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.